In this video, we're going to walk through the inferring missing data topic in the InfoWorks ICM basic tutorial. This, uh, this topic covers using the inference tool. The inference tool in ICM is used to fill in missing values. Um, so if you have pipes that are missing some inverts, um, if you have nodes that are missing ground levels, if you have no, or, uh, pipes that are missing head loss values, the inference tool can be used to fill in those gaps. Um, most of the time it can't uh, kind of, it wouldn't be able to just generate um, uh, invert values for you, for example, across your entire model, but it's gonna use values in um, the, the model object's vicinity to determine um, things like that uh, and fill in fill in gaps and values. So our first step is going to be to create a new flag that we can use to flag the values that were inferred using the inference tool. So to start, you're going to open up the user defined flags window. You can do that using this button here. And then we're going to create a new flag called IF. And per the tutorial, we're going to make this a bright blue color. And I'm just going to call it inferred values. All right, so we created this flag. And then in step two, we want to go ahead and open the in Langley Inference TUT network. So I'm going to open that up on the GeoPlan, make it a little bit easier to see here. And then we're going to zoom into the northwest corner area, which is right around here. And we're going to be looking at the properties of some of these nodes. So I want to go ahead and turn on some labels so that we can see those nodes. So I'm just going to right click. This part is not in the tutorial. It's just something that I do to make it a little easier. I'm going to click on auto labels and apply. And this will then uh, give us some labels so we can see um, how our nodes are named here. Um, so one of the things we want to do is look at the nodes and see that we are missing some ground levels. Uh, let's see, looks like this one is also missing a ground level. And then there are some pipes that are missing their shape ID. So these are some of the values we're going to be inferring using the inference tool. So to do that, we have to first create an inference. Um, so we can right click on any model group. I happen to have an inference model group or inference group model group. So I'm going to right click on that to create my new inference. You can right click on any model group to do this. And then we're just going to keep the inference name. So I'm going to click OK. And then we want to open up this inference. So I'm going to right click and select open. And you'll find that uh, every single inference option is, is ticked and we don't we don't want to use all of these. So we're going to go ahead and click none. But what we do want to keep is the node ground level from adjacent nodes. And then we want to keep the conduit size and shape. And uh, in the, um, the conduit size and shape inference, we want to go ahead and tick in for shape. And then when we click save, which is down here, we make it more visible. Oh, I guess I can't adjust this window. So when I click save, oh, I have to apply this flag. This is a, it's hard to see, but this is where you apply the flag. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the inference flag. And then when I click save, I just want to make it clear that when we save it, uh, that's not applying what we've just done. Um, that just sh that just saves the settings that we created. And so then we'll close the inference window. But to apply the inference, to actually use the tool, you'll drag it out onto the GeoPlan. And when you do that, uh, it'll, this, this window will pop up just letting you know there's no selection. So we didn't select objects to be inferred. It's just going to apply the inference to the entire network, which is fine because the inference that we're running is only going to apply to blank values. So it doesn't matter if it's applied to the entire network. It's not going to uh, take away uh, values that were already there. It's just going to infer the missing ones. So we'll go ahead and click yes. And so now we want to inspect what was done using the inference tool. So we're going to go ahead and click on this node that previously did not have a ground level. And we should see that the inference flag was applied. And then um, we, we now have a ground level that was inferred. So that's good. Same with uh, this node. 
we've got the flag applied and a new ground level value and then when I click on this link I should see that the inference flag was applied and we've um, inferred a shape ID of uh, CIRC and so um, I can also open up the node window and if I scroll over to the ground level column so in the grid we can sort the ground level column by flag and so then we can scroll down and see how many values uh, were inferred which is only three so there were there were only three kind of gaps in the data that needed to be filled in with the inference tool which is really how the inference tool is supposed to be used it's not supposed to be used to infer um, uh, fill in these gaps um, for the whole network. You, wanna, you want as many uh, accurate values as possible. Um, and now we can go ahead and commit our changes to the inference network. And so I'm just gonna add a note here saying we inferred missing ground levels and shape IDs. And you can use whatever comment you'd like and I'm not gonna validate at this time. And that's it for the infer missing values um, or using the, the inference tool.